A feeding station of 63 miles and led by Steve Douse, the British professional, they caught the lone Tim Hall. He was the last with them for precisely one mile and passing the gates of East North Castle, he was dropped. Douse and alongside him at Jakob Auerkirk of the Netherlands, Matt Bazzano, the champion of Australia in white, and in the green, Kevin Kimmage of Ireland. Into the finishing circuit, one lap to go, down goes Kimmage, the wheel spin on the greasy surface. It was a marvellous recovery by the Irishman, but this hill, as I say, is one in five, and he needed quite a lot of help to get on the road again. Not only had he fallen, but his chain was off, and the race was riding away from him. A good service from the Irish team mechanic, and Kimmage was back in the race. His time lost 20 seconds. He still had six and a half miles in which to make up lost ground. This is how it all happened. Watch his back wheel. He was on the wheel of Steve Douse. And also watch the orange jersey of our car. He had nowhere to go. He simply had to stop. So the crowd were anticipating now a victory for either Matthew Bazzano or Steve Douse. They were left out in the lead by some 20 seconds. The Irishman caught them both in the last kilometre. And the last man to be passed was Steve Douse, the professional. Banging his handlebars, second again, just as he had been in Leicester behind Mark Cornwall. But no doubt about the winner, the first Irish winner of a stage in the milk race since 1984. And it was his brother Paul who was the last Irishman to wear the yellow jersey. That was back in 1983. Chris Walker finished in fifth place. Will this man ever give up? And the answer will probably be no. The Irishman though was happy enough. That was when he recovered from the most difficult race of his life. The neutralised flag at the garrison round.